Okay, we in bridge oscillator is shown in this circuit. We want to find under what condition the oscillation at the output is start working. And then what is the frequency of that? By condition, I mean what should be the gain in the circuit and therefore what should be RF over RG, uh, RF being feedback resistor and RG is the resistor here. VRF in this circuit set the DC uh, voltage at the output because VR, it will set the DC at plus input terminal of the op amp and then it would affect also the negative voltage, DC voltage at negative input terminal and hence will set the V out DC. Okay, so in this circuit, what we are observing is we are seeing from V out via a combination of RC, RC in series in parallel, a feedback to positive input terminal. Um, so that's the feedback. And then we also see a gain uh, because it's a, a non-inverting gain. Then uh, the gain is well known to be one plus RF over RG. So what I'm trying to say um, in this circuit, uh, what we have is let's start from V out B to uh, positive input terminal. But in summary, uh, from the feedback um, idea, it looks like as if we have a circuit like this. So we have a sort of a gain in the feed forward path. And then we have output V out. And then from there, we have some, uh, let's say the gain is, uh, let's name it as uh, A, and then we have some feedback which has some transfer function B and goes back to input. Now, in this scheme, uh, the input is nothing. We are not applying any input, but we want with zero input to get the oscillation at the output. We know that uh, the V out over V in, or basically the transfer function in this uh, circuit, so V out over V in is uh, basically just uh, A over 1 minus AB. And uh, when B in is 0, we want the output to be non-zero. And that's only possible when 1 minus AB in the denominator of the transfer function is also 0. So in that scenario, 1 minus AB is 0, A is non-zero. So all I'm trying to say is uh, the condition for oscillation to happen is 1 minus AB is 0. This is well-known condition. AB should be 1, which basically is reminding us that um, from the output through the feedback and then through the gain back to the output, we should get to the output. Uh, so it should be a sustainable operation without even any input in the circuit. Okay, to get that, so let's start from B out and then uh, we have a voltage div division, as you can see, between, um, I'm going to show it this way, we have a voltage division between uh, a, a series of RNC and a parallel of RNC. So from V out to V plus, what we have is, so V plus is equal to uh, R and C in parallel. So it's going to be R in parallel with the impedance of the gap, which is one over JC omega, and divide by, um, again, R in parallel with 1 over JC omega, and then plus the series of RNC, which is R plus uh, 1 over JC omega. That's just a voltage division, nothing special that I did here. Okay, so let's just, um, and, and times multiplying uh, by V out. So I'm going from V out to positive input terminal of the op amp, which you can write it as um, if you expand this further, this R parallel with 1 over JC omega is, is R times, uh, I'm going to write it here, but quickly I'm going to utilize it, R times 1 over JC omega divide by R plus 1 over JC omega, which if you uh, simplify it, become R divided by JRC omega plus 1. So I'm going to substitute this with R over JRC omega plus 1. So what I get is R over JRC omega plus 1, and then denominator again the same thing, R over JRC omega plus 1, and I get um, here JRC omega plus 1, and then for the, for the series of the resistors uh, impedances, and I get JC omega in denominator. Okay, so let me get rid of this thing here, so cleaning up. Okay, now uh, if we simplify this further, 
what we get is this outcome. I'm going to use a different color so it, we have a good contrast. So we get um, times V out, of course. So let's not forget the V out. Okay, so what do we get? We get R over R plus 1 plus JRC omega squared divided by JC omega times V out. Okay, so now we are at positive input terminal of the op amp. Let's make the assumption that op amp is properly biased, so the supply voltages are properly connected, V ref is properly set, uh, and then uh, circuit is in proper uh, mode of operation, not resulting in op amp saturation. Since op amp is assumed to be in linear mode of operation, therefore um, V positive should be equal to V negative, and uh, let's, let's put it this way. Uh, this is a non-inverting amplifier, so the, from V plus to the output, we just simply get a gain of 1 plus RF over RG. So what I get is when I get back to V out, so V out, because from V plus to V out is 1 plus RF over RG times V plus. I could have just used this AB equal to 1 and A uh, being what I found here. Uh, sorry, B being what I found here and A is the gain, but I'm just repeating it. So now B plus can be substituted uh, by what I found here. B plus is this thing. So let's do that effectively confirming what I just said in terms of A times in loop gain, basically. This is what is referred to as loop gain. So we are setting it to 1. So I'm just repeating finding it. Rf over Rg times V plus, which is this thing that we found here. So R divided by R plus 1 plus JRC omega squared divided by JC omega times V out. As you can see, we get to the V out again. So V out cancel, cancel out V out. And what we need to show is now this has to be equal to 1. I'm going to copy paste it so we want or I'm going to just highlight it here we want this to be exactly equal to one what it means is um, now you see that this is a one plus rf over rg is just a real number but the problem on the other for the other component here is r over r plus one plus jrc omega squared divided by jc omega this on, in the denominator is a complex number it has a phase we don't want any complex number. We want the resulting phase to be um, just um, zero. So we want, in order to get to one, we want the denominator, which is the only complex component in this uh, loop chain, to be just um, a real number with a phase of um, zero. To do that, we need uh, r is just a real number we need the other one to be a real number as well so for this little portion um, so let me put it this way for this portion to be a real number you can see that jc omega in denominator has 90 degree phase because it has a j j is equal to to the j pi over 2 uh, euler formula so pi over 2 means 90 degree so in denominator you have 90 degree you want the numerator to be also 90 degree phase so i'm going to put it this way so it's clear okay so uh, you have the denominator 90 degree phase therefore you want the phase of 1 plus jc r, uh, jrc omega squared to be also 90 degree so to achieve that or pi over 2 to achieve that since it's to the power 2 we need uh, the phase of 1 plus jrc omega to be pi over 4 or 45 degree so this means the phase because you have to the power 2 so the phase of 1 plus jrc omega should be pi over 4 or 45 degree that's only possible if the real and imaginary are equal uh, parts of this complex because as you know that uh, in the unit circle let's say if you have a unit circle uh, you only get a phase of 
you only get a phase of pi over 4 or 45 degree if the real and the imaginary part are the same. So the real part is 1, imaginary part is rc omega. Therefore, we need the rc omega to be 1. That means the frequency of oscillation uh, should be 1 over rc. So that is how we find the frequency of oscillation. There is a specific frequency or frequencies, in this case only one frequency, 1 over rc, that result in this uh, complex portion to go away and become a real number, and therefore the phase of the loop gain become zero, which satisfies one of the conditions to satisfy the oscillation. The other condition is this value should be one. Let's take a look at what we have. So at this frequency, one plus j or c omega becomes one plus j, because that's, that's what we set omega to. So at, I'm gonna use a different color so that it is clear. So I'm going to put it this way then, at omega equal to 1 over rc, which is the frequency of oscillation, uh, we get the uh, loop gain, the one that I am highlighting here in blue in this, uh, uh, so the whole 1 plus rf over rg times this one. The loop gain becomes 1 plus rf over rg times r over r plus uh, I just need to make sure that I didn't uh, miss something here on top so um, let me just double check that I am not missing something okay um, so it become yes it's correct okay so I just wanted to double check now um, r over r plus 1 plus j rc omega becomes uh, 1 plus j squared. And the uh, denominator, jc omega, omega is 1 over uh, rc. So as a result, it becomes uh, 1 over rc, c cancel out, and it becomes r times. So let me put it here. So I get r plus r times 1 plus j omega squared. Um, and then I get uh, J in denominator. Okay, so this is the loop gain that I get. Let's just uh, simplify and uh, finalize the loop gain. And so, so let's uh, just say this thing is becoming equal to 1 plus RF over RG times you can see that we can get rid of R, um, so this R cancel out from numerator and denominator, and therefore what I get is, go back to green, what I get is one over one plus, and you have uh, one plus J squared, which is um, rat two e to the J pi over four squared become two J divided by J. So as a result, and this should be equal to 1. We said the whole thing has to be equal to 1. So what I get is 1 plus RF. That 2J that I wrote is just 1 plus J squared. 1 plus J is rad 2e to the J pi over 4, um, this, this thing. And then when you raise it to the power 2, it just become rad 2 squared, which is 2, and then e to the J pi over 2 because it becomes 90 degree. So RF over RG. And then what we have is, and then what we have is, we have um, we have one over one plus two, which is three, so equal to one. This requires one plus R F over R G become three. Uh, one plus two is three, goes the other side. So R F over R G is two. Basically, what it is trying to say is, in order for this circuit to oscillate, we need omega to be equal to 1 over rc, the frequency of oscillation, and at the same time, we need the uh, feedforward gain to be 3, which is 1 plus rf over rg. As a result, rf over rg has to be 2, so that we get 1 plus rf over rg equal to 3. Uh, this is the general way that we try to uh, 
we usually try using this way to analyze uh, oscillation circuits and find the uh, oscillation uh, condition and requirements. I hope that this is helpful.